My three ingredient key lime pie dump cake cobbler recipe is easy and delicious. With just a few basic ingredients and some extra ones if you want, you can make an amazing dessert that's full of summer flavor. Let's go over the ingredients. For a 9 by 13 dish, you will need two 21 ounce cans of key lime pie filling, one 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix, and two sticks of unsalted butter. Although you really only need three ingredients for this cobbler, if you want to take it to the next level, you can also add two tablespoons of lime juice and one tablespoon of zest. Or instead of one tablespoon of zest, you can do what I'm doing and add one teaspoon of zest and one teaspoon of lime extract. I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt over the filling just to help bring out the flavor a little bit more, but that's optional as well. Dump cake recipes are super easy because all you have to do is dump the ingredients into the dish and bake. But before I get started, I'm gonna put my butter back into the refrigerator. You'll see why later. Hence the name, the first step of this recipe is literally just dumping the cans of key lime pie filling into the butter dish. I took some of the butter from one of the sticks just to grease my nine by 13 baking dish. So now I'm literally, like I said, just dumping the cans of key lime pie filling in here. So put it in like this, and then I'm going to use my spatula or a large spoon to even it out. I just finished spreading out the key lime pie filling in the baking dish. I think it's easier with a spoon. That's what I recommend. You want to get it as even as possible, but it does not have to be perfect. This is an easy homemade recipe. Now for the optional ingredients. I'm going to add my teaspoon of lime extract to the juice, and I am just going to sprinkle it over the top like this. I think a little bit of Real juice is going to bring out the flavor. I remember when I made my lemon dump cake, I was really glad that I had a little bit of real juice as well because I thought it added a bit of bite that was lacking from the canned pie filling. And now for the zest. Just try and sprinkle it over as well as you can. If you want to use all extract, you probably can, but honestly, I think a little bit of zest is going to go a long way with color and having a more authentic flavor. But like I said, I don't think using all extract is necessarily bad. If you decide to go that route, I would do one and a half teaspoons of extract. And now for a little bit of salt. This is optional, of course, and you want to watch it, but a little bit of salt in your desserts can really help to bring out the flavor. So I recommend just sprinkling a little bit over, especially if you're using unsalted butter. I forgot to mention that after sprinkling over the juice and zest, you might want to spread it out just a little bit to make sure it's evenly distributed. Once again, it does not have to be perfect. Now that the key lime pie filling is in the baking dish, it's time to add the cake mix topping. Like I said, one 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix. So I'm literally just going to open the bag like I have here and just dump it on top. Just moving it across the top and shaking it a little bit so that the cake mix comes out and falls right on top of the pie filling. I am using white, like I said. I think yellow 
would be good as well. I even think a lemon cake mix would be good. I've never seen a lime cake mix, but if you find it and you use it, let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. Even though I tried to sprinkle the cake mix as evenly over the top as I could, I'm still going to take a fork and just try to even it out as much as I can. So I'm just dragging the fork across the top, leveling everything out, and breaking up any big clumps as I go by. And notice I am not mixing. I am not digging down into the soon to be dump cake and mixing the cake mix into the pie filling. I'm literally just spreading the cake mix out on top. So resist the urge to mix. You're literally just, like I said, spreading the cake mix across the top as evenly as you can, breaking up any clumps as you see them. Now that the cake mix is spread out evenly across the top, it's time to start on the butter. Here I have my two sticks of butter, which I put back into the refrigerator, like I said. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cut them into small pieces and lay them out across the top. So here I'm just gonna take the one that I opened already, start on the other side. I'm literally just gonna take a knife. I recommend a sharp knife. Just go down like that and then put the pad of butter on top. I would say that in every tablespoon of butter you want maybe four to six slices, something like that. You want them to be thin but not so thin that they fall apart when you pick them up. So that's about what you want. And they don't have to be touching each other. I would say put them to where they're a millimeter or two apart. What you want is you want them to be close enough together so that when your dump cake bakes in the oven, the butter can melt down and then spread out as well and soak into the cake mix. And by soaking into the cake mix, the melted butter is going to turn it into an amazing crumble topping that is going to be very delicious. See, I'm just laying it out across the top like this. I know there are some people who melt the butter and then pour it over. I think it would probably work, but I would recommend against it because I think it would be really easy to get dry spots by doing that. Some places would have a lot of butter and some places wouldn't have any at all. And those dry spots, they're not going to be really good when your cake is done. So I think that taking a little bit of time and slicing the butter and laying it across the top is probably the way to go. I guess you could melt the butter, mix it with the cake mix in a separate bowl and then sprinkle it across the top. You could probably do that, but I've never tried it. So if anyone does, let me know how it works out. I am just going to continue doing this as my oven preheats to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And once this is done, or close to being done, I will bring you back. I just finished laying the pads of butter across the top of my key lime dump cake. As you can see, I used almost one and a half sticks. I know two sticks is a lot. I would not use less than one stick of butter because I think less than one stick, it would be really hard to get coverage. So one and a half to two sticks. You can see over here, 
the pads fell apart or here and here I added a little bit because I felt like there was some uh, cake mix showing through. If you feel like the pads of butter are maybe too close together, too far apart, just lift them up with your knife and move them. You can see not a big deal. It's very important that your butter is cold. That's why I put it back into the refrigerator at the beginning of the video. Because if it's cold, it's going to be a lot easier to cut into thin slices. Now I'm going to put my dump cake into a 350 degree oven uncovered. I will let you know for how long. I just pulled my key lime dump cake out of the oven. It was in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for one hour, 60 minutes. As you can see, my key lime dump cake had a great golden brown color that made me want to dig in right away. But I resisted the temptation and let it cool off completely before giving it a try. But when I cut the first slice and took the first bite, I knew that my old fashioned three ingredient key lime dump cake recipe was a big success because it was delicious. First off, the flavor. Similar to the lemon dump cake I made here on my channel a few years ago, I thought that this key lime version had a lot of citrus flavor. Although the lime juice, zest, and or extract aren't 100% necessary, I think that they're really important because they really help to bring out the flavor more than just using the canned pie filling wood. And even though zest has more flavor than juice, I think that the lime juice is really important in this recipe because it adds an acidity that the canned pie filling doesn't. Even though this isn't quite as acidic as a lot of lime desserts are, and this dump cake would be good for people who like lime, they like citrus, but they don't like the bite of acidity, I still think a little bit in the background is important because acidity is such an important element in citrus flavor. And as with all of my other dump cakes, the crust was sweet and buttery and it combined very nicely with the lime filling. And now that I'm holding the first piece up to the camera, you can see what it looks like up close. I really like the ratio of filling to topping. I thought that it was absolutely perfect. There was enough filling and enough crumbled topping to have a little bit of each in every bite. In terms of flavor and texture, I really liked how this key lime dump cake recipe turned out and the people who tried it loved it as well. Honestly, my only critique of this recipe is that some people might expect the canned key lime pie filling to be green. I'm not totally opposed to using food coloring in my recipes, but to be honest, I try to stay away from them. And I know a lot of people try to stay away from unnatural food colorings as well. So I guess the white color or the cream color of the pie filling really isn't that big of a deal. But I think that if the filling were green, it might make this more appetizing to some people. I know that's kind of a small detail that doesn't really affect the flavor or texture at all and you could do what I did. You could just sprinkle some extra lime zest on top and it'll add that color that will really make this appetizing. I ate this plain, but I think it would be great with some whipped cream, Cool Whip, ice cream, anything like that. One other thing I wanted to mention is that although this dump cake did have about a stick and a half of butter in it, it was really light and refreshing. It would be the perfect dessert on a hot summer day after a barbecue, a pool party, the 4th of July, Labor Day, anything like that. In short, if you're looking for a quick and easy cobbler recipe this summer, this three ingredient dump cake recipe with key lime pie filling is something you should definitely consider making. If you try it, I know you'll like it, so let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.